Another type of microorganisms is called protists. They can be classified as animal-like, called protozoans, plant-like, called algae, and fungus-like, called slime molds. Several plant-like protists include unicellular photosynthetic organisms called phytoplanktons, dinoflagellates, euglena, golden brown algae. They are ecologically classified as primary producers in aquatic habitats. Dinoflagellates are named so due to the presence of two flagella in each cell. They are the primary cause of red tide, a natural phenomenon that takes place in marine environments. It occurs when the color of the coast changes into reddish brown, hence the name red tide. Animal-like protists are considered heterotrophs, which means that they depend on other organisms for food. These protists include zooflagellates, esporozoan, sarcodina, and ciliata. A classic example of an animal-like protist is the amoeba. It consists of a nucleus and all other cellular parts present in a eukaryotic cell. It facilitates movement, which resembles crawling using a pseudopodia or false feet. Using this false feet, it can eat tiny food particles present in its surroundings. The food particles are enclosed by the food vacuole, while exist water is ejected through the contractile vacuole. Other than pseudopodia, animal-like protists also use flagella and or cilia to facilitate movement. Fungus-like protists are considered saprophytic, which means that they derive food and energy by breaking down dead organic matter. Some fungus-like protists, like true slime molds, undergo asexual reproduction, while others, like cellular slime molds, undergo sexual reproduction. Fungus-like protists also utilize pseudopodia for movement. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you enjoyed learning with us. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification button. I'll see you in the next lesson.